So here's our black water uh, drain pipe coming out of the bathroom, heading towards the septic tank. And I just want to show you guys the uh, overflow for the gray water. It comes in, I have a long sweep Y tying into the, uh, the septic, uh, the black water drainage. And I got a little, uh, right. yeah. little 45, goes into two inch here. Okay. And this is, right now it just runs through the rubber right into the reception cell. But we're actually gonna, Ted's good recommendation before was to run it all the way to over here, to the second cell of the gray water planter, so that as water is rushing in, into the reception cell, if it's rushing in too quickly and the water level rises fast in the reception cell, so it doesn't, otherwise it would, it would just immediately drain out, overflow, possibly some of the new water coming into the reception cell if it was uh, filling too quickly. This way, if we run that overflow all the way into the second cell, the water level in here will rise slowly as it drains from the reception cell into this cell it'll eliminate that possibility of, of excess overflow from new water coming in. Okay, so this is that, that valve, the through a valve that I was talking about earlier. Uh, as I said before, we have our uh, gray water coming in from our uh, bathroom tub and bathroom sink and from our washer. And we also have our black water from our kitchen sink coming down over here and then going this way and tying into the black water uh, sewage line going out to the septic tank. So what we have here, all the water that comes in, it's, it's headed for the gray water from the, this, the bathroom sink, the bathroom tub, and the, and the laundry. If I just turn this thing right like this, now it's switched to the black water, to the septic. And we are going to now modify the Lazy Susan to uh, be able to access this once the cabinets are installed. Okay, so now we've cut our hole in the Lazy Susan. It's sitting right on top of, uh, of that jandy, that three-way valve and all that piping. And you can see here in the back of the Lazy Susan our access port to switch the valve to gray water or to black water. So we got our stub outs here for the, uh, the gray water coming in and the black water going out and the gray water going out to the to the, uh, the the planter to the reception cell and I'm just uh, gluing together the plumbing for the three-way valve so I'm dry fitting everything to make sure that it's gonna fit so good now I know that this is gonna fit here the angle of this is right so I'm gonna do here so I can spin this on so I have some reference I'm gonna make a mark right here and right here on this pipe so I know when I'm putting this on, I know where to spin it to. I'm going to take this off. If I can get it off, we're already primed. So I'm just going to use my PVC glue now. And I already have all my, uh, my connections labeled with letters, C and C. So I just remind me where everything goes. It doesn't seem like it would be complicated when it's together. Once you take it apart, all of a sudden, Everything looks very cryptic, and you don't know where stuff goes. So now, I'm going to put these together, match my marks up. I'm just going to hold this together for like 30 seconds to make sure that it doesn't pull out. Um, that happens sometimes where this, this pipe will pull away because it's, uh, before it sets up, it's very slick in there, so it can just, it can move. So I'm just going to hold this till it sets up. I have this assembly which I can just glue right into these guys at the same time. Just like this. Boom. And then I have this other assembly which is going to curve out like this. Which if I get that all set up and glued, then I can just, boom, just snap that right in like that. So, first, glue this guy. I have to work fast here. And this is quick set glue. And I got several connections to work with here. Make sure you get full coverage on all your connections of the glue. I'm gonna put this guy on right now. Boom! He's on. Hold that in place for a minute here. And I'm also gonna level this. 
Okay, so I just put this on and I tilted it a little bit so it's, slight, it's slightly tilted this way. The reason for that is because almost all the time I'm going to be draining my gray water into the gray water planter this way. Um, and with drainage you always want a slope, a downward slope of a, a quarter inch per foot at least. So since this is going to go most of the time, I'm going to, going, it's going this way most of the time. And it has to kind of go around this bend here instead of kind of just in the same direction it was already flowing. It has to actually change directions. I'm going to give this the advantage. It's going to go slightly up here just with the valve for a second. But then this right here, down to this pipe, to black water, actually drastically grades down right here. So even though it'll have to flow up maybe just like an eighth of an inch through this valve, then immediately then it's going to flow right back down through this steep grade, this steep slope for, down to this uh, black water pipe. So uh, I feel like that's the, the most advantageous way to go. I mean, aside from that also, I'm almost never going to be directing this to black water, only if I'm doing something maintenance-wise with the gray water planter. I'm going to dry fit this uh, drainage into the gray water. Okay, so I'm all dry fit nice now. See how this thing kind of, this pipe turns down a little bit so this one can slope down to this guy. I need to know how much this, this 90 here is sloped downwards. Mark that. And I'll mark this one too because that one will connect to that. This mark right here will dictate the slope of this one. And then this mark right here will dictate the slope of this. Those are the points where the turn matters. The rest of these guys are just connectors. And again, notice I have my D to D, E to E, F to F, and G to G. And then D to D. And I have double Ds. Huh, how about that? This piece is so small here, I'm just going to glue over the entire surface. Let's see how that's working. And you into you. Lamo! matching those marks up. I'm going to wait for this to set because when I just put this in, it immediately just tried to slide right out again. And now it's starting to set up, so now it's staying. Blue up this F, F, Let's see, can you see that sliding out right there? And I'm going to push it back in. Waited a little bit too long there, but it's good. It doesn't take long to set up. I think it's like a 90 second set. Call to arms, brethren! <laughs> <laughs> the contractor is ram horn. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna glue these four connections really fast. I'm just gonna hold this and let this set. I hope you enjoyed my really exciting, awesome plumbing video of my global model Earthship. So stay tuned for more videos coming soon.